Good morning, children. I hope you all are well and studying at home regularly, revising all the syllabus done. Today, children, we are going to do air around us lesson number eight. So hurry up, take out page sixty. Yes. So look at these pictures given below. Circle the things that need air. So kite. You all know whether the kite needs air or not. Yes, of course it needs air. So you may put a circle around it. Football. Yes. This also needs air. This also needs air. Hot air balloon also needs air. So put a circle around it. Plants also need air. So you need to circle this also. Table, pencil, book, and bag. They don't need air. So no need to circle these four. Clear? Now about the air, children. You know that air is present all around us. The layer of the air is called atmosphere. We can't see the air, but we can. feel the air we can't smell the air or we can't taste the air we can only feel it you can't see the air present in this room where i am recording or where you are sitting you are not able to see but when the wind blows you are able to feel it when the plants move you are able to feel that air is blowing now you see i am blowing here the air these pages will move okay i hope you have understood it now air is very important for us for us means all the human beings it is important and plants and animals all the living things require air to breathe all the human beings plants and animals breathe in air clear see the next page now now how human beings breathe in air human beings breathe in air through their nose take in the air through your nose not through your mouth clear and exhale the air through your mouth plants take in air through the small pores on their leaves leaves have got small pores on them and plants take in air through those pores or small small holes we can say tiny holes are there fish use gills to breathe under water fish live in water so how do they breathe they breathe through their gills they don't have lungs to breathe or nose to breathe hmm. insects breathe through their skin insects breathe through their skin which are called spiracles later you will study about them air for burning candles children air for burning candles means if we burn a candle air is required for that i'll show you an experiment i will burn a candle and then when i put a tumbler on it it will extinguish because the air is not there understood that's why a candle burns for some time and then the flame goes out i will show this uh, this experiment to you children here is the experiment this is a candle this is a match box and it's a tumbler or glass you can say so you see what happens if i do this experiment see i'll burn this candle i've burned this candle now it is burning see it's burning now 
I will keep a glass on it. See what happens. See, it extinguishes or it stops burning. Okay, understood now? I hope this experiment is clear to you. Children, air has got weight also. Take two footballs of the same size, fill air in one of them. Weigh both the footballs in a weighing machine. This is a weighing machine. So, we are measuring the weight of both the footballs. This is football with air. This is without air. So, which is heavier? This one is heavier because air has weight. Understood? So, this will come down. The side which, which is heavy, that will come down, no? So, it comes down. So, this shows that air has weight. Understood? Air expands when heated. Okay. Stretch the end of a balloon over the top of a bottle. We have put a balloon on the top of a bottle. Set the bottle in a pan of hot water. This is a pan which has got hot water. Understood? In this pan hot water is there and this is the bottle kept in it. Now, after few minutes the heat will cause the air in the balloon to expand making the balloon to blow up. Understood? Heat will Cause the air in the balloon. Balloon has got air. So, air will expand. Air will expand and balloon will blow up. This happens because the hot water heats up the air inside the bottle. The warmed air expands filling up more space inside the balloon. The air in the bottle expands. And then here also air in the balloon also expands. Now this is activity time. Children this you can do on your own at home. One experiment has to be done. This you can do and see. Cause of air pollution. Children, you all know that there is a lot of pollution in the air. Like vehicles, they release a lot of smoke which makes our air dirty. Some people burn the garbage in the open. So, that also makes the air dirty. Understood? Air pollution means what makes the Air dirty. How does the air become dirty? Causes of air pollution means what are the reasons behind air pollution? So, smoke from vehicles such as cars, buses, trucks and aeroplanes. Burning of garbage in the open. Garbage, you know. Now, smoke and gases from factories. You can see smoke from the factories also makes the air dirty. Burning of firecrackers. When you burn the firecrackers, the whole smoke goes into the air. That's why it is told that avoid fire using firecrackers in the festivals or marriages also some people are using. So, we should not use firecrackers. Burning of petrol and coal. This also makes the environment dirty or air dirty. Understood? Now, steps to reduce air pollution. Steps to reduce air pollution means how can we lessen? L E L S E N. Lessen the air pollution. How can we reduce? Air pollution, use of public transport like CNG buses, metros and trains. When we are using all these, then 
the air pollution will get less use of battery operated vehicles because petrol and uh, coal used uh, these um, vehicles they may cause pollution so we must use battery operated vehicles use another fuel like cng solar energy etc this you know solar energy energy from the sun walk or ride a bicycle for short distances uh, means we should not use scooters and cars for short distances we can use a bicycle because bicycle will never release any kind of smoke and make the air dirty planting of trees we must plant more and more trees see children airborne diseases some diseases can be caught simply by breathing these are called airborne diseases means whenever we breathe some diseases are spread to others like which are these diseases like common cold and all these diseases spread when an infected person coughs sneezes or talks the germs in the air come in contact with you when you touch your own eyes nose and mouth some examples are common cold chicken pox mumps and measles these kind of diseases may spread from one to another so these are airborne diseases from through air they spread understood now covid is also there you know corona virus disease this also is spreading through the air only and when we come in contact with the person who is infected so we also may get it turn the page now prevention how can we prevent airborne diseases from spreading out we stay home when you are sick means if one person is infected he has to stay at home he should not go there anywhere out avoid close contact with the people around you whoever is nearby you you should not come in contact with him like if you are having common cold and you are coming to school you should not touch or sneeze in front of your friends or you should use a hanky to sneeze wear a mask to prevent breathing in germs you have to wear a mask as you are wearing now cover your mouth with a handkerchief when you cough or sneeze so this is a good habit to use a handkerchief that's why we people say you to use a handkerchief most of you come to school without a hanky so that is not a good habit children so bring your hanky whether you are ill or not because you have to keep yourself neat and clean to clean your sweat when you play in summers so hanky is required no so bring a hanky always to the school with this we come to the end of this chapter children